Hello, Michael Koval Anderson here, urban designer, author, host of the TV documentary series about urbanism, the life-size city. A lot of my work over the past 10 and 12 years has been abroad, working in cities on every continent around the world, trying as best I can to make urban life better as an urban designer and urban planner. For obvious pandemic reasons here in spring 2020, I have spent a lot of time in my own city, Copenhagen, and more specifically, Fredericksburg. I have been discovering my own city. I have found streets and architecture just a couple of minutes bike ride from here that I didn't know existed. Parks I didn't even know were there just around the corner. It's been a really cool exploration of my own city during the lockdown, which is now done, by the way. We've opened up here in Denmark and life has returned to normal. But a lot of urban exploration. And I decided to take that one step further. It's no secret that I am often critical of various things here in Copenhagen, be it transport, urban development, urbanism generally. We have done so many things right in this city and it's like we're in this little weird phase where we're tripping up a lot and making a lot of stupid and expensive uh, brain fart mistakes. You might have seen a film that I made a couple days ago about my inflatable kayak that I acquired and putting it on my bike, riding it down to the harbor and exploring Copenhagen's blue space. I was in the neighborhood of Suham, which just means South Harbor, paddling around. I haven't explored this little corner of Copenhagen. It's a bit off my, off my map uh, of all the places that I go and hang out in the city. So it was really cool to have a closer look because a lot of people have been talking about this development and even people, friends of mine here in Copenhagen, haven't really explored it at all. So let me get to the point and we're going to jump into a little kayak tour of the canals of Suham. So this is a rather new development in Copenhagen. This is called Suhaun. There's some other areas around here. Teilholmen, there's a whole bunch of new apartment buildings. Copenhagen has 42 kilometers of harbor front that can be developed, which is incredibly rare in any city in the world, but especially in old European cities. So after they moved out the shipping, they freed up the harbor for development. Copenhagen has housing problems like everybody else. I haven't really been here at all. I've heard about it. I've heard, oh, it's like little Venice. You know, super cool, very different from the Danish context of architecture where everything is clean lines and uniformity and, you know, elegant design as well. But still, well, this is post-corona. We're not really traveling at the moment. So we're going on a little adventure in our own city. And it really just doesn't feel like Copenhagen. All of these apartments here, feed out to the water. So you can see these apartments along this canal are pretty uh, pretty new. They have their middle ladder down to the water, the balconies, there's proof of life there. These people haven't sort of geared up with little pontoons outside their homes just yet. So they, it's like they just moved in, but uh, of course they're gonna follow the lead of everybody else in the, in the older uh, buildings farther along uh, and really create their access to the water, their own personal access. They decide themselves how they wanna do it and uh, what, how they want to use it. So come back here this time next year and it's going to be a totally different story. I've seen people swimming here in the morning and uh, you know, just swimming through the canals and before they go to work. Like, what is this place? You know, I can be critical of Copenhagen and urban planning and the car-centric approach to traffic planning even here in the world's best bicycle city. But then you come out here and it's just like, Somebody did some really cool creative thinking and went, yeah, let's do this. Fuck it. All the buildings are not the same. They all have different heights and different widths and shapes. A total mix of, of home styles. Uh, but the, the canals, man, it just kills me. It's summer. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and in the winter, we winter bathe in Denmark. So we love to, uh, to jump in the, in the water, even if it's, you know, near freezing. <laughs> And your voice carries here in the canals, so we've been playing music as well. So we kind of we kind of chilled with the music a bit, you know. You don't want to be the the irritating tourists with your your loud music, like those dudes. I have a couple of friends who've moved out here, you know, saw the opportunity to get a, a new apartment, you know, in a, in a new area uh, that would suit them and their families. And both of them have said the same thing: it's incredibly undanish. Communities have formed very quickly around these homes and 
people talk to each other. You know, you're on a canal, you wave at your neighbor. You, we do stuff that you just really don't do in, in the Nordic context where we kind of keep to ourselves and, uh, you know, only communicate when we need to. And uh, here it's really just uh, communities that have formed. When you sail along these canals, it's amazing. But then when you look at a Google map, you know, of these areas, inside all of these squares are the typical Copenhagen typology of the back courtyard, the shared back courtyard that everybody uses. And uh, you don't even see that when you're here. So the people who live here, they have access to the water, but they also have access to a really cool backyard. You can see lots of bike sheds in the, uh, in the backyards. They, you can see the grass. You can see how people also are taking ownership of that space. This here is, in a way, a street. This is public space. We can sail down here if we want. You know, we're respectful. I guess if you live here, you kind of buy into the concept that uh, I'm living in a fishbowl, right? So, and all the people we've been sailing past, you know, they kind of look at us with curiosity. Yeah, whatever, you know, they're used to it. So, but in the backyards, that's where they have their, uh, their privacy. Now, personally, I probably wouldn't want to live here. Oh, I'm attracted to the idea of the water and going for a swim in the morning and paddle boarding and with my new inflatable kayak, owning Copenhagen's blue space. I mean, I think I prefer living in a traditional neighborhood like where I live now, closer to the city center. I don't know if I want to live this far out, which is totally a, which is totally a Copenhagen problem, right? Everything should be 20 minutes away. So out here is maybe 25 minutes. So it's really a luxury Copenhagen problem. but. I love the idea of this place. I love that it exists and I love that so many people are moving out here and really taking ownership of it in a very undanish way. It's, like, it's Mediterranean here in a way. And uh, I just think that's absolutely brilliant. One of the cool trendy things at the moment in Copenhagen is uh, balconies, man. If you got a balcony business, you're doing just fine. Everybody's getting balconies put on their old uh, traditional buildings, you know, trying to increase their property value, but also you know, the inherent dream, oh my God, we're gonna have fresh croissants on the balcony every day, honey. We're gonna just have, you know, plants and it's just gonna be an extra room. And often on these balconies in the neighborhoods where I live, you know, there's no proof of life. You can see that people aren't actually using them only for storage maybe. Uh, some places they use them more, but still it's like uh, the dream uh, never really happens. People don't actually get out there. We're used to being inside our, you know, exquisitely uh, designed interiors. Um, but out here, man, it's, it's different. You look at some of the balconies and you really see proof of life. You see uh, clothes drying on a rack. You see uh, you know, a paddle board waiting to be used. You see plants, uh, flower pots and stuff. And it really is a sign that, that the people who are living here enjoy living here. Thank you.